Jin has been released from his military duties recently, and there's been a few videos that have come out since his return, since his release. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch a quick clip of Jin being released and I believe being greeted by the BTS boys. And then after that, watching a Weverse Live that he did shortly after his release. And then I'm going to be checking out a video of him hugging a bunch of different army. Other than that, let's check out these clips and I look forward to this. Wow. Looks like he got close with some people in the military. Is that V? No. There's Hobie. <laughs> There's Namju. Is that Jimin and his gear? Wow, and Jungkook? Wow. <laughs> All right, so just a quick clip of... Uh, of Jin being released and being uh, reunited with all his brothers there. That was really nice. What a gesture for them to be there at his release. It's a big moment. You see the big smile on Jin's face. Lots of joy, lots of happiness. Namjoon making it feel very uh, ceremonial, I guess, and bring, bringing the saxophone. That's pretty funny. So that was, that was nice. That was cool. Let's get right into this next clip here. BTS Jin Weverse Live. So let's check this out. He's still in his uniform here. <laughs> 그뭐뭐 뭐 하사 중사 상사 뭐 소위 중위 대위 이런 사람들이 이제 간부라고 하는데 간부랑 이 용사들 병사들 화합을 제가 되게 잘 시켜서 제가 있던 중대 분위기가 되게 잘 만들었어요. 네, 제가 그 분위기를 잘 만들어서 갈 때. Mm. Ah, so he was sort of like the glue that held everyone together. That sounds like a perfect job for Jin, huh? The vibe guy, keeping the vibes high. 자랑 할 건데 여기 보시면은. 전역해가지고 이게 다 허가 받았어요. 허가 받았으니까 그어 저거 안 되는데 이런 분들은 네 됩니다. 네, 되는 거예요. 자 육군 용사상 이 만기 전역 잘 했고. Yeah, it just feels like Jin's very sentimental here. A lot of emotions that he's uh, processing right now and going through. It's probably bittersweet for him. As much as he's happy to be discharged and getting back to his you know normal life. You know, it sounds like uh, he really enjoyed his time in the army. Yeah, just Jin really seems proud of his of his time there. He seems proud of himself. It's one of the things I really like about Jin. He's not he's saying he's really shy, but. He's not shy to vocalize his accomplishments. And even here, I was really popular in there. Like he's, he's excited to share that with us. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's interesting that he was so insistent about that and that was his idea. Maybe he kind of just missed that uh, intimacy with ARMY. And in, in his mind, that was his way of sort of feeling that intimacy. And maybe it was also like, hey, I've been gone for a while, but I want to let you know that I'm back. I care about you. I love you. I, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't leave you guys. I'm here to stay. Three thousand. 
This is an awesome, awesome conversation that was had. I wish I was a part of this conversation, listening to the back and forth. That's really funny. Like just the negotiation of the number of army. This is cool to hear him kind of vouching on behalf of army here. <laughs> right? It's just a funny negotiation. A negotiation around hugging, you know? The currency is army here. But that's a lot of hugs. I gotta be like a thousand people to hug. That's quite a that's quite a lot of hugs. It's funny. So Hybe started at fifty, he started at three thousand, so he came down two thousand, they went up nine fifty. They they I guess technically got the better end of that negotiation, but Perhaps Jin's strategy was to start a little higher than he actually thought he could get in order to get to that number of a thousand. Maybe he, that's what he was originally thinking, so he was just being smart. Some good negotiating here by Jin. <laughs> you can understand Hybe's concerns, obviously, from a safety standpoint, totally. Jin gets it as well. But I think Jin's saying, like, this is what I really want. This is really important to me. And we're just going to have to take a little bit of a leap of faith here. Nothing is ever 100% safe or 100% certain. So if something's really important to you, then sometimes you have to take a little bit of a chance and then obviously do your best to minimize the risks. And, and I love that he's sharing the process with us. I think that's so cool that he let us in into the negotiation with Hive about the hugging. In a way, I think he actually sometimes shares the most details with ARMY. The one that I think about in particular, although the mood was completely different, was the time he spoke about them almost disbanding. He, he can be maybe the most forthcoming about certain details that go on behind the scenes with BTS. He lets us in in a different way, doesn't he? Jin does let us in in a different way. He makes it fun for us when he shares stories. You know, he's not bringing anyone down when he outs them, right? He'll out certain people, but he's not bringing anyone down. And he shares these stories in a positive way that brings humor and lightness to both parties and all parties involved. <laughs> When Jin wants to get his way, he gets his way. <laughs> Good for him. Jin marches to the beat of his own drum. Yeah, it doesn't really actually seem like he's lost a beat in front of the camera. Yeah, I guess he's a little nervous or a, a bit shy. He says it's been a while, but to me it's like he hasn't missed a day in front of the camera. He's still same Jin. Yeah, Jin coming to us with uh, some humor, some good humor. He's uh, excited to share with ARMY, he's excited to be back, and he's excited to share his experience with us, and I wish you got to see me in there. That's sort of the feeling I got, like, I did so well, I was loved, I did such a good job, I kept the vibes high, I was the glue in there. You know, I think he's really proud of himself and excited to share that pride with, with ARMY and with his fan base. Him letting us in on some of those special moments, you know, I think that's also something that's special about Jim and often doing it in such a humorous way. So right now, we're going to check out this uh, hug party, the hug fest over here. There he is. Just says hug me, okay. Uh, 
This is also like in typical Jin fashion, just being cute, right? Because I know he's the guy at concerts that does those like random cute things, right? He'll bring out like a heart in different places. I think that's what it is. So, you know, he's got a special connection with ARMY, doesn't he? And he kind of does it in this sort of cute, kind of almost like inside jokey way, it feels like. It's like we have this special thing, me and you. We have our own unique kind of inside joke and inside thing. I don't know, I think of like an uncle that you have that you have this special kind of connection with or an aunt and you have this like thing that you do every time that she or he sees you. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I feel with Jin. And he's got this uh, softness around ARMY as well, it seems like. There's a softness. 제가 이 군대를 다녀오고 나서 낯가림이 되게 더 심해졌어요. 그래서 이제 이따가 이제 또 2부도 있는데 2부 때도 많이 떨것 같고 1부 때도 또 많이 떨것 같은데 <웃음> His shyness, his shyness is endearing, right? That's part of what makes him endearing, I think, to so many army, his innocence to a degree. And I think that also, like, in a way, makes him feel more approachable, too. And just the way he kind of carries himself, he's sort of like awkwardly walking onto the stage a little and he doesn't have that like, you know, bravado that you see from a lot of people when they're walking on stage, especially celebrities. So there's a shyness, there's a, a timidness that again, I think not only makes him endearing, but makes him a lot less intimidating. This should be funny, this should be exciting. <laughs> Yeah, Hybe's like, do not fucking sue us over here. <laughs> Alright, fair request. How do you guys feel about this, by the way? Do you kind of feel like it's a bit weird? Or do you feel, I was just thinking that, like maybe some people think it's, this is a little weird. Or do you think this is, uh, this is really nice? It's like a beautiful gesture by Jin and like a beautiful experience that Army and, and Jin get to have with each other. It's different, right? I think if you look at this as an outsider, you might think it's a little weird. But once you're familiar with the dynamic of BTS and Army and kind of come to understand how family oriented it feels, it's really not weird at all to me. I think that's that's the thing. It's like it's like you haven't seen your family for a little, so you just want to hug them. To me, at least, it never feels like a like a romantic kind of thing or a potential for romance. And I think the majority of army understand that. I think obviously there are army who probably have fantasies about being with BTS and being romantic with them and you know want to marry them. But for the majority of army Jin's like a big brother or a little brother or an uncle he looks like a little boy you know it's with his shirt and the way he's standing I think that's a, that's a, you know, I was gonna say at first it felt a little quick, but I think that's like pretty appropriate given that there's a thousand people that he's hugging. I think that's nice. I mean, I think, I wonder if they felt like that was enough. I wonder if they felt like that was sufficient. I think so. I think that's a nice moment. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna see any men. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's really nice, you know? <laughs> that's a lot of work, man. That's a lot of work. It's like the, the repetition of that, like... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's a lot of hugging. That's a lot of hugging. Yeah.
He's so far taller than everyone who's come his way. It's like, I need a break. This is pretty special that this is all going down, right? You, know, you don't see this ever. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Like this is, this hug fest must be a first. Like how special is that to you, being able to hug Jin or not a big deal? You know, just seeing him in concert or watching his videos is something you're happy with. Like you don't, you don't need that or would that be extra special for you? I mean, yeah, I guess it just adds to that feeling of connection with the BTS guys. Like, you know, you're getting that much physically closer to him. Like it just makes that army BTS experience that much more real. You know, these guys are just breaking barriers in that sense. They, they really want it to feel uh, like family. And we need to break down all the barriers possible, whether it's sharing these intimate details of our lives with you, whether it's, you know, having these intimate live streams with you, or it's putting on these exclusive concerts for you, or it's this, literally hugging you and showing our love that way for you, right? Like they're constantly kind of moving the mark, kind of taking away those those barriers between fan and artist to kind of make it feel like just one big family. So I think this is just kind of an example of that. But on more of a micro level, I think Jin just wants to feel really connected to the fan base and this is his way of doing it. Oh, the guy didn't want to hug? There we go. I like also how he has his arms out too, just kind of ready to embrace every new person that comes. I think that's a nice sentiment as well. <laughs> and he's looking at all of them, it looks like in the eye before they come. You know, he's trying to have like a sincere moment with everyone it feels like. Is that it? We're already done? Alright, now Jin's got into his comfort zone here, huh? He's not so shy anymore. He's owning the stage now. <laughs> A watch? You got everyone a watch? That's incredible. <laughs> I mean, that's still pretty expensive, I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean, he just appreciates his fans so much, you know? And again, like, he's just like, I just want to show my appreciation in every way I can think of and in the most special way I can think of. And I think that's what the hugging represented, right? You can sense their uh, sorrow around this ending. What a cool experience. That's so K-pop though. I just feel like that's so K-pop. That's so Korea, like a hug fest. We're going to an event where everyone in the audience gets to hug Jin. That's so funny. I love that. It's a great concept. I do wonder how much the fans got out of it. 
Yeah, because it, it, it's it's funny. Like, I, and I've talked about this a few times in the recent past. Like, around watching them on a screen so much that when you see them in person, it almost feels surreal. Even seeing them at in concert, it's like, whoa! I've watched these guys for so many hours on screen, and I feel like I kind of know them in a way and I feel connected to them and it's like now I'm seeing them in person it's just a really surreal experience so I'd imagine hugging him you know making this a physical literal physical experience is like completely surreal it, it kind of takes it to that next level of intimacy <laughs> that's a great picture <sighs> what a cute guy you know what a cute guy I mean, that's like one of the few times I think I've referred to a guy as cute, a guy who's 30 years old. But uh, he is, he's just so sweet, he's endearing, he's um, just easy to love, right? You know, I think he can relate to a lot of people because he still has that like youthfulness about him. So, you know, as he continues to get older, I still think he like keeps that relatability with, with that younger army. Anyways, that was really fun. If you wanna watch my full uncut reaction and analysis, all you need to do is go to my Patreon page. I've included the full Weverse Live reaction along with the full Hugfest reaction over there. And I've got tons of other exclusive BTS content over on my Patreon page. So appreciate you guys and I'll catch you very soon. Peace.